Good morning. I'm going to show you my process of catching and haltering and trying to feed milk this morning. One of them is a little bit easier, uh, but they did jump up in the air last night, uh, rearing up when I was trying to feed the milk. It takes a while for them to get used to the bowl. Uh, it's not a normal, natural process for them. So, um, babies. This one right here was a lot easier last night handling. This one's more scared. Um, good boy. A good boy. Yeah. Good boy. It's scary getting the halter on. Yeah. It's so scary. But I need the halter to be able to guide the, butt, the bowl. And so I uh, put the butt rope around the butt it kind of makes them feel secure and uh, it also helps me guide them. Right now we're just going to share until I can get them on the bowl. ounces. Uh, Swaino's just now drinking all 16 ounces. If I waste some, it's okay. I just would like to have enough to fill their bellies uh, and not have to run back in because I uh, mix it in the house. moving. I know, I know. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I have to stay with them because they're going to keep refusing it. Now he's drinking. But it's not natural for them to be drinking from a bowl, so they try to refuse it. And a lot of times you hear people say they couldn't get them to drink from a bowl. And so you just have to get them used to the process. Routine is so important. Um, so I'm not being rough with him. I'm just trying to make sure he gets the nutrition that he needs. So he's got his mouth in it, but he's not sucking. So again, I'll stick my finger in the side to get that tongue going. You can see how if I can get the tongue going and stick them in it, uh, but they just don't understand that that's how they're going to get nutrition. So you can see it's a little rough at first. And we went through this with Swaina. If you remember, I said that Swaino also reared up a lot. And so this one's just getting used to it. It'll take a bit. Once we get that tongue licking, we need the mouth and the bowl. <laughs> kind of out of camera, so you can't see. So, not that that's the most important part, but I'm going to let him walk around 
a little bit so he doesn't feel constrained, restrained. And uh, try it again. Both of these boys are very feisty, very strong. Uh, they're not weak at all. Sometimes they look mopey, but mopey doesn't mean they're weak. Last night I definitely found out they're strong. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. He's got his tongue moving. Once they figure it out, they're like, oh, this is yummy. And then sometimes I do like mommy grooming. Uh, moms groom on them roughly. Uh, and that helps the bond with me and them um, when I'm teaching. Because uh, that's what, oh, I feel all those sores like Swaino has on his neck. Sores all over your back. What are those scabs? Oh my gosh. I've got to figure out what this is. I'll do it at another time when I'm not milk feeding milk. So I've done that for a bit. So I'm gonna go back to the bowl. See if I can get my finger. Oh, licking, good. Uh-uh, don't refuse it. Sometimes it's helpful to have somebody help restrain them and keep them in place, uh, but I have to do it on my own when nobody's here. So uh, I have to figure out a way. Oh, he got it. Oh, he's sucking it down. <laughs> now he stopped, but he'll figure it out. That was a lot of big gulps. And I know you can't see him, but it was a lot of big gulps after I stuck my finger in that side where there's no teeth to get that tongue going. Step back. Step back. Easy, baby. And so, I uh, don't know if you can see that milk dripping. Good baby. Good baby. Let me see if you'll stand there. Let me do the... putting your finger in their mouth because they will chomp down. And then I did try putting what was left from last night into their food bowl to see if they would eat the food with the milk on it and they did not touch it. So it's really important to get them on this milk bowl. So now I'm going to talk to the other one. Mm. Uh-uh, uh-uh, be still. Stay with me. They don't know yet about handling. Just would like to pull something off so I can at least inspect it and see what it is. 
all up and down his back. What are these things? try the other one and uh, I'm telling you now probably be a little bit rougher with him. I won't get picked. There. Put it on. Good baby. Good baby. Let's see if you have scabs. No? Just start with the milk because I have a lot of other things to do and I really wanted to try to get milk in them this morning. So I just want to get on the other side. I'm more comfortable feeding from the uh, left shoulder. Oops, I'm sorry, that was kind of quick, but I needed to. Uh, Oh, that was kind of quick. So I just stay with him. So he backs up against the wall and he might rear up on me. And he, oh, he drank right away, but he doesn't understand it. <laughs> He's really with him. You gotta stay with me. You gotta stay with me. He likes it. He's chugging it. Oh, that's so yummy. Once they get more comfortable with me, they'll put their head down and their mouth will be more in the bowl. Uh, but he is loving this milk. There, his head relaxed. I don't know if you saw that, but his head relaxed. He's actually standing on my foot, but he's not hurting me. But his head went more relaxed and into a downward. There he goes. See how he went down? Oh, that's so good. You're so cute. You need to calm down. Yeah. 
sometimes I do pulling. That's why I have my hand underneath to direct the head into the bowl. And I tilt it so the nose doesn't go in, so they don't aspirate. Uh, so he's had enough, but I'm gonna be persistent. I'd like to see more in him. Chugging, chugging, chugging. You gotta stay with them when they try to go off the bowl. Uh, it's just getting used to it. He's got that tongue going, but he doesn't understand. Oh, what a, he is precious. He's spicy, he's spicy. Sometimes I don't record this part because uh, I didn't have my selfie stick. But I think you guys would enjoy watching the, the first learning experience, that tongue. Yep. Trying to see if he's on in the camera view. So I'm gonna let him loose, and then I'll go back to it again. He drank better than the other one. Now I just want to spend time with him, touching. So each time I come in, they should get calmer and calmer. But I want to understand for him to come to me. Uh, I'm not pulling hard at all. They have little fragile necks, although they're strong. Uh, So you see how he's a little bit calmer. I'm still pulling. Uh, once they relax completely, uh, I let I release this a little bit, still keeping them with me. But uh, if I hold him here, he's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. Let's see if I could show that cute little face licking. He's so cute. Yes, you are. He's so cute. You're spicy. Yeah, you're spicy. I'll do the mommy grooming with this one. Uh, usually they stand completely still and I don't have to pull on the lead. Uh, let's see if I can get him up here. Do some mommy grooming. Uh, even though I'm holding the lead a little tight, you can see that he's standing there. This, uh, this is good communication with them. Uh, they understand it. Oh, I'm sorry, we gotta find out what spots you like. I usually scratch at the base of the ear and they like that a lot. It also gives me a bit of time to inspect them. So I'm gonna release and see if he tries to move away. I'll pull him, yeah. So he still wants to get by his buddy I want to keep him with me and uh, good boy, take hey, good baby, yeah, take good baby. <laughs> Let's get back to the bowl now. Let's get back to the bowl. So I'm going to step on the lead rope so I can, well, I'm going to put the bowl down. I need to get him in position. You gotta remember. Yeah, you gotta remember. He's chugging it. <laughs> You've gotta stay with them. So many people say they couldn't get them to take a, a bucket. Uh, buckets are so much safer than bottles. And then eventually, you can set the you can set the milk down in their food bowl like I showed you the Swaino. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. They really want to stand by each other. Good boy. He's probably gonna not like me touching his tail. 
just like to inspect them. And he's standing in his dish. They just sometimes feel safer in a corner. As long as they're not kicking. <coughs> <coughs> so I think we've done enough that we can do with milk today. Uh, really had hoped to get more in them. I'm gonna try this little guy here without. Without the halter on. See what his reaction is. And if I just lean down, I think I, the halter just makes it so much easier. Got to have some control when they're learning. Uh, there's not a lot of control without the halter. Mm. When Swaino was learning, I ended up with milk all over me the first night. This little guy wants to stay away from me, but uh, if I can get them used to me being in. See, I'm just not comfortable on this side. I have more control with them on the other side. Can we switch? Take it off. Well, I took it off, but I don't want him to run away from me. Just to learn that that pulling behavior worked to get released. And so now I just let him go. 